What's up guys? We are back at the workbench. So this is going to be my entry for the Diecast Graveyard annual subscriber build. He has issued a challenge to turn a American muscle car into either a gasser or a drag car. So I'm going to use this 73 Pontiac Firebird and turn it into a drag car. I'm not 100% sure where exactly I'm going with it just yet. I mean, obviously in the drag car direction. Uh, I've got a lot of ideas. But, you know, I don't want to put anything in concrete because you guys know as good as I do that nothing goes as planned. Just going to get it apart and start playing with it. Let the ideas roll. The only thing I don't really like about it is the uh, blacked out windshield. And, but not a big deal. Alright, I'm going to get to work on it and see what I can do. Be back in a little bit. Okay, so here I'm just showing you real quick where I'm at with the Firebird drag car build. I'm planning on, uh, you know, hopefully it's going to be kind of sort of like a Pro Street drag car slash dragster, I guess. I don't know. Either way, I'll show you where I'm at with it. Um, engine's ready. I'm going to do some detailing on that. I've got the uh, body cleaned up. You can see the hole in the hood. That's where the engine's going to sit. I filed down some of that hood scoop so the engine would sit as flush as I could get it on top of the um, hood there. Obviously, ideally, I would have rather have cut a section out of the hood, but it's about as much as I can do with it because of where the post is on this car and some other issues. I mean, I could probably cut that off and then glue it in place in the front of the car, but, uh, you know, this bar is in the way as of now. And I've already made the decision, obviously, to slam it on top of the hood. So that's where it's going. No need to cut that out. Um, yeah, I know it's going to be kind of silly, but it's a custom and I don't know, whatever, right? Either way, so uh, I got the base. You can see the axle tube is glued in place there, ready to accept the wheels. I'm going to uh, hit that metallic silver. Give it a good refresh. The uh, windshield is off camera. <clears throat> Gonna probably hit that in the pledge a couple more times. And also the wheels are off camera intentionally because I kind of want to save those for the end. Um, I don't know. I think they're kind of neat. Nothing spectacularly special, I guess, but... Uh, Either way, I just kind of want to save them for the end. So, that's it for now. Be back in a little bit. Okay, so this is where I ended up with the Firebird. I think it came out great. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I nailed everything I had planned for this build. For some crazy reason, everything on this build went just so smooth. I mean, I put some time into it and took my time with it. But, uh, just didn't really have a whole lot of problems with it. Just came together really good, which I'm very pleased with. Absolutely love the outcome of this. Mm. 
my American Muscle drag car. You know, I said earlier, I feel like I might catch a little heat about how I just kind of slammed that engine right there on top of the hood, but with the options I had, that's what I had to work with. And again, I think it came out absolutely great. Um, you know, I can't, I can't please everybody, you know, you guys know that. Not everybody's going to like everything you do, and that's fine. What matters is I absolutely love it. It was a great challenge. Big shout out to Diecast Graveyard for issuing the challenge, letting me be a part of it. I appreciate it. I enjoyed it. This definitely tested my abilities and uh, challenged me a little bit. But that's what it's all about. You know, practice, learn, improve, get better. So you can see that I went with the pizza cutters on the front, as I've heard them referred to. And then uh, on the back, I left the original wheels because they were as close as to a set of fat drag tires that I had available to me at the time. And then as you can see here on those those back wheels, did something kind of unique with them to give them that, uh, I don't know what you guys would, would call that, but uh, I don't know, some kind of dish appearance or whatever, but I mean you can see what I'm talking about obviously. But uh, so what that is is basically a uh, you know a thumbtack, a push pin that I snapped, you know, cut the end of it off, and then just filed it down a little smooth right there, and then uh, glued them onto the tire. I think it gave it a really cool appearance. Just kind of happened to. Uh, stumble upon that idea as I was in the middle of this build and that's where they ended up uh, might plan on using that same method uh, for some other builds but actually turning the, the thumbtack over and gluing it so that you get the bubble dish side of it if you will on the outside maybe you guys will see that in an upcoming video I'll point it out and talk about it a little bit if I ever do that uh, as usual I got my channel decal on there front uh, parking lights headlights detailed got my name over the driver's side door and on the back there, I've got the bumper chromed out, and you can see that wheelie bar back there. I don't think he watches my channel, but uh, I picked that wheelie bar. Um, the how-to on that from a channel that I follow named Luca's Dad, L-U-C-A-S-D-A-D. Lucas Dad, you guys can check out his channel if you don't already know who I'm talking about. And as always, you know, we dip the uh, windshield in the pledge, that's why it's nice and shiny there. As you can see through the uh, passenger side window, I did install a uh, roll bar in there. You probably might have seen it on the previous. Um, footage uh, leading up to this point but I forgot to point it out and talk about it at that point so there it is I thought it looked pretty cool in there it's kind of slanted in there which I you know intentionally done uh, so yeah I thought that looked pretty cool 
And then uh, spinning back around here. Well, not as if you can't see it from the back anyway, but talk about that engine a little bit. Did the uh, valve covers, detailed the belt, and uh, the tips of the exhaust, detailed that a little bit so it looks like they're actually hollow. And then right here on the front, you can kind of see the three red dots I threw up there. I'm not sure what that piece of the motor is actually called. I like to call myself a car guy, but I don't know every single motor piece. I know the basics and, you know, I can name them and point them out for the most part. But either way, whatever. Now I'm just rambling on. So anyway, guys, the video's gotten long and I'm going to finish it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. Appreciate you watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.